Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. This spring and fall we're hosting a whole brand new series of workshops for teachers for math, science, English, and history. You should check out these workshops. We're going to be holding them in Massachusetts, in Florida, in New York, in California. Check them out. I'm sure you'll find them very helpful. Take care. Hi team, this is Chris Abraham from Go Math. Today we're going to work on number 49 on the CBEST Elementary Math Practice Test. It says, use the chart below to answer the question that follows. And we've been looking at a whole series of problems with charts and tables and graphs. So always take 30 seconds and scan over what this has here. Read the title first. It says the percent of total corn crop yield in 1999. So when we're talking about total, we're talking about 100% of the of the corn crop yield and it gives us this information on the different percents of each different farm but the, this the big idea here is when we're dealing with total is that this represents all or a hundred percent of the corn crop whenever you see a, a pie chart like this you want to think that when you add up all the parts they're always going to add up to a hundred percent and, and pie charts are really dead giveaways that you're dealing with fractions, decimals, percents. So whenever you see pie charts with fractions, decimals, percents, it's, it always has to do with part-to-whole relationships, okay? So I know these all have to add up to 100%. We're, we're missing a percent here. The, the easiest way, I, I could probably figure that out. I probably have an idea of what they're going to ask. Let's read it. It says, what percent of the total yield crop to the central farm generated in 1999. That's kind of what we, we determined just by looking at the uh, diagram before even uh, reading the question. Okay, we got to find out that missing amount. So what you're going to do, you could do it a couple ways. You could subtract these from 100%, but I don't really think that's that easy. I think it's better just to add up these percents. 24% plus 21% plus 31% plus seven percent, add them all up and find out what is currently being shown. When you add these up, four plus one plus one is six, six plus seven is um, thirteen, three plus uh, two plus two plus one, that's five plus three is eight. When you add these up, you find out that 83 is accounted for. So you just say, what do you add to 83? to get to 100%. And the answer would be 17 plus 83 gets 100%. Hope you enjoyed this video. This is Chris Abraham. Have a great day. Take care.